James is one of the most exceptional patients in my 600 pound life's history. He truly did beat the odds and stuck to his weight loss goals, but not without a few crazy moments along the way. Did you know his family is under a curse? Well, today we're talking about the four craziest moments in James's episode on season two of My 600 Pound Life. Before we dish out the details, like this video and subscribe to Plot Twist to stay on top of the craziest moments this show's ever seen. You won't want to miss our next video. When James gets up every morning, he immediately feels out of breath and feels like he's going to pass out. He feels helpless and needs to be babied by his mom to get basic tasks done around his home. He recalls one of the worst moments of his life in recent memory, and fans of the show agreed it was one of the craziest accidents we've ever seen on the show. One morning, James suffered a tragic accident where he slipped, fell, and ended up wedged in between his bedroom wall and the door. At 700 pounds, his mother couldn't pick him up. The fire department had to come in and bust open the wall to get him out. James recalls screaming out in pain, and his mother tearfully recalls James screaming out to just shoot and kill him. Simply tragic, and nothing short of crazy. It's depressing. My knees are just ache. Joints like they just grind in. Try not to move about as much as I can. My mom treats me like I'm helpless. Go on, baby. A lot of people do. It just makes me feel like I'm useless. One of my worst moments was when I had an accident downstairs. I slipped and I ended up wedged in between the wall and the door. Actually, he was 700 pounds at that time. And he screams to me, Mama, help me, help me. I'm, I'm hung. I couldn't pick him up. The fire department had to come in there and bust the wall in. I was screaming because the pain was so bad. I can't hardly even talk about it because he says, just shoot me, mama, just shoot me. He says, I'm not no good anyway. At the age of 37 and weighing in at 720 pounds, James isn't able to live on his own, especially knowing he can get into devastating household accidents like the one that left a permanent hole in his wall. Despite having a good job as an accountant, James has to live in his mother's house so she can essentially wait on him hand and foot. He's not able to do things for himself, like many patients. James's mother admits that she knows her cooking has contributed to James' obesity, but she just can't blame herself for only cooking the only way she knows how. James will lie to his mother and not tell her that he already ate fast food on his way home from work and will eat whatever meal she's also prepared for dinner. She can't help him get on top of his weight if she doesn't know he's eating double dinners around six nights a week. Watch as James enjoys a meal and calls out to his mother. Why'd you put this pie here if you know I'm not supposed to eat it? His mother looks stunned by his disrespect and is devastated knowing that he's bitter about the food his mom provides him with. After work, some people want to drink a beer to relieve stress. I just want something to eat. I have to do the fast food probably about five to six times a week. After I get off work, fast food is the easiest thing. That way you ain't got to go home and cook nothing and uh, just crawl in bed or sit down and watch TV. Sometimes when I'm cooking something, he will have already gone through the drive through and I say something, well, I already had something to eat. Well, why did you eat this? Well, you cooked it. Here you are putting this pie on here knowing I ain't supposed to eat it. I guess James blames me for his weight. I cooked how I knew to cook. I hope he's not too bitter at me. When interviewing James's mother, she divulges that his childhood wasn't easy and it's clear to see why he's gained so much weight over the years. She says it's not James's fault that he's as big as he is. His father also struggled with his weight and passed away when he reached over 400 pounds. Six months later, James' sister died as well. The two of them were apparently just like twins, and James was devastated, especially by her passing. Both of James' beloved family members passed away due to health problems caused by their obesity. The family even has a hospital bed in their home because their father needed to sleep in it due to his excessive size and weight problems. After he passed away, the sister moved into the bed to nurse the very same issues. Almost as if the bed itself was cursed, the sister also passed away shortly after moving into the family's hospital bed. Now that James weighs in over 700 pounds himself, he's been condemned to use the family's hospital bed, where his mother fears he will die under the same curse as well. 
It's not really his fault that he's at this weight. A lot of it is our family history. My dad struggled his weight. When he passed away, he was in the mid-400s. It hurt him when his daddy died, but when his sister died, six months later, James almost lost it. Him and her were almost like twins. Doctors said weight caused my dad and my sister's problems. They say that later on down the road, that I might have those problems. We have a hospital bed in there that my husband was using it. When he passed away, my daughter moved to that bed because she said, Mama, I'm going to sleep in here. I can rest better on this bed. When he took the bed over, I thought, what is this? Is he the next in line? Crazily enough, James beats the odds and successfully loses enough weight in order to be considered for weight loss surgery. What stands out about James, aside from the many other patients on the show, is that he has a strong circle of friends around him that are encouraging him every step of the way. Before his surgery, he meets up with his friend Don who encourages him to lose enough weight that he can ride his brand new tractor all on his own. He then meets up with another good friend, Lorica, who cries when she says how much she cares about him. James even has a love interest, a woman named Summer he met online. Summer had gastric bypass surgery too, so she even understood what James was going through. With all this love and support behind him, James was able to lose enough weight to be officially allowed to get gastric bypass surgery. He lost 148 pounds with the help of his mom and friends. Once he gets the surgery, he sticks to his diet and keeps the weight off, committing himself to living a new life. In the end of the episode, we even see that he's become light enough to get on his new tractor, his pride and joy, which was one of his biggest motivators for losing weight. It's sad that it seems crazy to see a 600 pound life patient with a support system, but it is. With all the crazy traumas, childhood tragedies, and overall drama, it's crazy to see someone pull themselves up by their bootstraps and stick to their weight loss goals with the help of friends and loved ones. For well, the past two weeks, I've been trying to stick to my diet and eat what the doctor wants me to eat. I'm getting pretty sick of eating eggs. I didn't where I can't stand them anymore. I've also been trying to stay active and do what I can around the house and taking care of things out in the pasture. James bought himself a brand new tractor. The only way I can put him on it is to pick him up with that one. He's my buddy. He don't need to be picked up. It means a lot to me knowing that a lot of people, they care about me and want me to do well. I am amazed at the progress that James has made. He's able to help around the house a lot more. I love watching him grow into the man that he was meant to be. To be under the 400 pound mark, that's a pretty big achievement for me. You have come quite a long way. I'm proud of you. You're sticking up with the program. It wasn't always easy. <laughs>